the way Mercy Ranch. Hi, friends. Ain't it a beautiful day here on Mercy Ranch? But you know, even though the birds are singing their sweet songs, something very unfortunate happened. My friend Nancy, she's very ill. She can't come to school or play in the pond or even chase the chickens. I really want to do something special for her, but I just can't seem to decide what. You know, when someone is feeling that sick, you really want to be doing the right thing to cheer them up. Well, I'm sure you'll help me find something. But while we're waiting, we're going to go visit Uncle Chris in his music shop. I just know that he has a tune that can cheer us all up. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Uncle Chris's Music Shop. And I'm just so glad that, uh, that you're watching this and that I can show you a little bit about uh, guitars. So today we're going to talk about guitars. And... Um, I want to introduce you to my favorite guitar. My favorite guitar is this one right over here. And the guitar is called a Taylor guitar. You can see that its name is at the top over here. It says Taylor. And this is a six string guitar. Now, I only learned to play guitars when I was about 10 years old. And, uh, and so I've been playing ever since I was 10. Matthew, how old are you? Uh, um, eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. And what instruments have you started to learn to play? The piano and harmonica. The harmonica. Show us harmonica. So you can play the piano and the harmonica. So that's a harmonica. And each harmonica comes with a different... Um, a different note. So this is a D harmonica. Play something quickly, just a note. Very nice. Okay, you can put that back. So Matthew's eight and three quarters and he can play the piano and the harmonica. He hasn't learned to play the guitar yet. But the guitar is my favorite and it's my favorite because you can take it anywhere you go and um, it sounds really, really nice. And if you take it somewhere, you can use you can use a strap like this, and you can strap it around your neck, and then you can stand and play, you can sit and play, and you can play in all sorts of shapes. But I wanted to show you what some some interesting things about the guitar. So one thing you'll see is that a guitar has how many strings? One, two, three, four five, six. But not all guitars have six strings. Matthew, pass the 12 string guitar there, boy. Okay. So I've also got a guitar that has 12 strings. Thank you, boy. So this guitar is called an ovation and it's 12 strings. You can see all of these here. The, each one is a different string, holds a different string. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have six on the other side. And this sounds a little bit different. So that is a 12 string. But the 12 string guitar and the 6 string guitar, can you put that back please boy? Okay. The 12 string guitar and the 6 string guitar, both are the same because they both have wood on the front and on the sides and on the back. And it's got a sound hole over there that makes the sound come out. So this is a, an acoustic guitar that you don't need to plug it into speakers to hear it. I don't know if you can hear the difference between this guitar and the 12 string. It's 
So that there is a six string guitar. You can plug it in. You plug it in over there to a speaker and then it even sounds louder, but you don't need to. You can hear it without plugging it in. But then you have other guitars as well. Matthew, pass the bass guitar for me, boy. Okay. And this is called a bass guitar. And the bass guitar has only four strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is an electric guitar, but it's a bass one. Can you hear that? Maybe you need to put the volume in there loud. No, you have to plug it in. And that's the thing. If you plug it in, then you can hear it. But if you don't plug it in, you can't hear it. Now, with normal guitars, you play chords. So you press more than one string at the same time and you strum. With a bass guitar, you press notes and you play just one string at a time. And that's how that works. So you get different types of guitars. But my favorite guitar is this one right over here. It's a beautiful guitar and it's got beautiful woods. You can see different woods. There's uh, Sitka spruce, there's ebony wood over there, there's rosewood over there, and on the edges, I don't know if you can see the edges over there and over there, that's maple wood, and there's maple wood at the back as well, varnished in a different way. So they've got so many different types of woods that, that, that glue together to make a beautiful guitar. And one of the things that I, I use the guitar for, especially when I'm feeling sad or lonely or even sick the guitar can be used to encourage people and when you can play some nice songs and songs about jesus and you can encourage yourself you can be encouraged you can praise jesus you can worship you can sing beautiful hymns and um, uh, i know that we've been many times to visit some sick people in hospital um, if we go visit um, sometimes the, the orphans, um, they like to sing. And then you can take the guitar with and you can sing and encourage people. So a song that you can sing with a guitar is um, a song like, I'm sure you know it, The Love of Jesus. It's a beautiful song to encourage people. The love of Jesus is so wonderful, the love of Jesus. Is so wonderful, the love of Jesus is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love! It's so high, you can't get over it. It's so low, you can't get under it. It's so wide, you can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love! So it's really nice to sing songs with, and it really helps you to sing beautiful songs for Jesus and to encourage one another. So that is Uncle Chris's Music Shop, where we spoke about guitars, and there's so much more that we can teach about music, and maybe later in the future, we can talk about pianos and about all sorts of other instruments as well that can all be used to encourage one another and to worship Jesus and praise God. Thank you, boys and girls. See you soon. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so, it's so good to be with you today. And I've got a special story to tell you out of the Bible. And it comes from Acts 16, verse 25. Let's read it together. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. It's one of my favorite sounds. I love to listen to birds singing. Today, I'm going to tell you about Paul and Silas. They were talking to people about Jesus, and some of the people didn't like what they heard. So they said, we are going to throw them into prison. So they beat them first and they tied their legs with chains and they threw them into a prison cell. And you know what? 
Paul and Silas, even though they were hurt and they were probably a bit scared, they were praying and singing songs to Jesus. And that's, um, that's how Jesus was with them and they weren't worried and all the other prisoners could hear them singing. They must have thought, wow, these guys are crazy singing in jail. But they knew that Jesus would be with them. So this story is telling us today that even if we scared or worried, we can sing. I do that often. When I'm in bed and I'm thinking of something that worries me, I just sing in my head. I sing songs to Jesus. And do you know that he gives me peace and I can sleep better? I want you all to remember that. Remember, Jesus loves you. And even when you're scared, you can sing songs to Jesus like Paul and Silas. To be able to play so many beautiful instruments. But I can't play the guitar yet. But I'm sure gonna work hard to fill up my piggy bank so I can buy myself a beautiful guitar. But you know, even though I don't have a guitar, I got a tambourine. And I think I'm gonna take my tambourine and go sing to my friend Nancy. I think that'll be the right thing to cheer her up. And obviously, also to pray with her. We can't do anything if we didn't ask Jesus to come into our hearts. So come on, please pray with me. Dear Father, thank you for giving us instruments and voices so we can encourage one another when we feel sick or down or tired. Please help us to keep doing so and come live in our hearts and our minds because without you, we can do no good. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 